In this class we are going to discuss about uh, tens complement BCD subtraction. This is very similar to nines complement BCD subtraction. The only difference between tens complement and nines complement subtraction is in tens complement subtraction process we are going to eliminate the carry in the end. So, whatever carry end around carry is there at the ending so that we are going to eliminate here. So, in this tense complement also if you are not getting any end around carry then you are treating that result as negative. See the basic steps uh, which we are going to perform in tense complement subtraction. The first step we have to take is take tense complement for subtrahend. For example, if you are taking any a minus b subtraction. So, b is called as subtrahend and a is minion. So, first we have to take tens complement for subtrahend. After that we have to add the tens complement of subtrahend to minion by using BCD addition. And third step if error BCD is there. So, we have to correct that error BCD by using addition of 6. Here we have to remember one thing that is we have to take correction for the error bits only. So, we have to cross check the bits for error wherever you got error there only you have to add 6. If some bits having no error there is no need to add 6 only to the bits which are in error for that bits only you are adding 6 and then go to fourth step follow up the carries. Finally, you have to follow up the carries. So, here in previous step you have to check for errors. I told you you have to check for errors. When you are saying that the BCD code is in error means when the digit value exceeds 9 or you got carry after addition then those bits are said to be in error. So, otherwise no problem less than 9 or you are not getting any carry means you are not getting any problem for that bits. So, whatever it may be by adding 6 you are correcting in next step you are follow up in carries. After correction you are getting carries means no problem. In first step after addition of mind end and subtrahend if you got carry then only you have to take that as error otherwise no need to consider that as error. In after uh, correcting after adding with 6 you are getting uh, uh, carries means no problem at all. So, that we won't treat as error. So, whatever carries we got we are follow uping and adding to the next bits. Finally, after follow uping carries if you are having end around carry. For example, first bit is there, second bit is there, third bit is there. First, first bit you are having carry, that carry you are follow up to second bit. For, for example, if you are having carry for second bit, you are follow up to last third bit. For example, third bit having carry, that is called as end around carry. What you are doing that carry? So, in tens complement subtraction, if carry is there, we are simply discarding that carry. In case of nines complement, we are adding that carry to the result. But in case of this tens complement subtraction, you are simply discarding the carry. For example, if you are not getting any carry means the result is said to be negative and is in tens complement form. To cross check the result and to get the actual form, you need to take tens complement once again. So, now we will uh, uh, do these steps, we will perform these steps on a problem. I, I want to take an example problem, I want to take some 10.2 minus 2.1. I want to perform this subtraction process using tens complement BCD subtraction. So, now see here before going into the procedure, I want to cross check my number of digits both in subtrahend and minion. See here including point after digits and point before digits. How many total digits are there? Totally I am having 3 digits are there in minion, but I am having 3 digits, 2 digits in subtrahend. To perform any complement subtraction, it is better to take. So, equal number of bits 
both in mine end and subtra end otherwise the process is going to be somewhat typical so some error results may occur if the number of bits are varied from mine end to subtra end here to equate with mine end bits i am padding a zero for subtra end i am just padding before zero point before left zero i am padding at msv place you are padding zero means there is no change of the value of that subtra end so now i am going to process these steps take tens complement for subtra end to consider tens complement first of all we need to take nines complement as usual so what is the nines complement of 2.1 so see here for example if you are taking 2.1 if you want nines complement so you have to subtract each and every digit from 9 so here 9 minus 1 is equivalent to 8 so 9 minus 2 is equivalent to 7 7.8 is the nines complement of subtra end but here we need tens complement so tens complement can be obtained by adding 1 to the nines complement So seven point nine will be the tens complement of our subtrahend. So two point one. So here, if you take in seven point nine as it is, and if you are adding with ten point two, you are going to get some problem because the number of bits varies with number of bits here. See here, what are the changes we are going to make by padding zero? If you add it zero, you have to subtract this zero from nine to take the uh, nines complement. When you subtracted zero from nine, you are getting nine here. For tens complement, if you are adding one means the tens complement of this zero to point one is equal to nine seven point nine. So this is having so much different than. just 7.9 so that's why i told you so while doing any complement subtraction not only tens complement first we have to see see for equal number of digits both in subtra end and mine end so okay we take in so equal number of digits we take in nines complement and by adding one we take in tens complement for that tens complement of bcd so tens complement of subtra end i am taking b c d so what is tens complement of subtra end we got 97.9 this is our tens complement of subtra end for this i am going to take b c d code b c d means every digit separately we have to make binary so for 9 i am going to take 1001 for 7 if you have any problem make 8421 reference every time that's it So for seven zero triple one four plus two plus one seven. So point nine again means one zero zero one. So okay. And then after that first step is over. Second step add it to the mine end. So what is our mine end? Mine end is ten point two. For this mine end, the B C D code will be for one separately zero separately. Actually this is not ten. If you are saying This is a B C D number one zero point two. We have to say so. Okay, for this one zero point two, the B C D code is one separately means zero 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 one. This is one zero means zero 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 point two means zero zero one zero. I already told you if you have any problem, so take eight four two one reference. So just come to the third step. So if errors in B C D digits are there, we have to correct. So to get the errors, first we have to add. So I am adding one plus zero one, zero plus one one, zero plus zero zero, one plus zero zero, one plus zero sorry one. So one zero one one here you got. Next one plus zero one. One plus zero one one plus zero one zero plus zero zero. No need to take this one plus zero zero plus one every time carries every time. See here here you are having seven here you are having zero seven plus zero seven. 
here see here 9 here and 2 here so 9 plus 2 11 so 8 4 2 1 take here what is the value 8 plus 2 plus 1 11 so same 11 you are getting so see here 9 plus 1 how much so this is equivalent to 10 so 1 0 1 0 you, you are obviously are going to get no need to take 1 plus 1 uh, 0 with carry 1 and again carry again 0 again 1 no need to take like that because in gate like exams so time is a major factor you have to decode directly so here i am direct we can directly add 9 plus 1 and we know binary for 10 so simple binary for 10 so uh, see here BCD complement subtraction after addition of subtrahend and mindend whatever you are getting for each corresponding digit addition result that is in binary only. So th this is one point you have to remember. So okay we done the addition process and now we have to cross check for errors. So see this this is equivalent to 11 that means greater than 9. So this is in error. And this is 7, this is right digit because less than 9 and no carry. So, this is right one. And here you are having 10. This is also wrong BCD code. So, whatever the digits greater than 9 or they got carry, those are said to be wrong BCD digits. So, these two are wrong BCD because they exceeded 9. So, whatever the digits exceeded 9, for them we are adding 6 for correction. I am adding 6 for this 2 bits only. So, see here I am not adding 6 here. So, I am just adding for this error bits. So, 1 plus 0, 1, 1 plus 1, 0 with carry 1, 1 plus 1, 0 with carry 1, 1 plus 1, 0 with carry 1. So, whatever carry you got here, you just keep here only. Do not move for next bit until carries follow up step. So, whatever bit is there, so you just uh, consider it directly and here 0 plus 0, 0, 1 plus 1, 0 with carry 1, 1 plus 1, 0 with carry 1, 1 plus 1, 0 with carry 1. So, see here, this is 10 and this is 6, 16, right? So, whatever here you got, this is also 16, equivalent binary is 16, but you added 4 bits plus 4 bits, you got 5 bits mean this you are treating as carry. So, okay, you taken correction in this step, you got some result, in that result you are having carries. So, you have to follow up that carries. So, to the next bits, here I am having one carry, I have to follow up this carry to the next bit. And here I am not having next bits, this I am treating as end around carry. So, in tense complement subtraction, if end around carry is there, what we have to do? So, we have to simply discard the carry. So, if end around carry is not there, we just follow up this carries and we will take the result. Whatever result is there, we will treat that as in tense complement form. We will take tense complement again for that number to get the actual form. Now, we are having end around carry. We are simply discarding that carry as this is the even complement. Not only tense complement, in all even complements, we are going to discard the carry. Okay, we will see result here. So, the remaining 0, 0, 0, 1 here after following this carry to here. 7 plus 1, 8 means 1, 0, 0, 0, 8 and here remaining all zeros. So, we just discarded the carry. So, you just decode the result. So, here I am decoding means 0, 8.1, 8.1 1 is the result, 0, 8 means 8.1 is the result. So, what you have to get actually 10.2 minus 2.1, definitely you have to get 8.1. Same 8.1 you got by using tense complement BCD subtraction. You can take this problem under subtracting of smaller number from larger number case also.